welcome to another video from the people's pond today's all about heating we've managed to get hold of a remora f10 i've got a used condition but it's been used for about seven months everything's in good nick I've started a little bit on getting the plumbing all sorted out picked out for a good price it was a bargain I had to. I wasn't going to have let this one go away. Because I think now it's coming to a time where heat does become an important factor in everyone's ponds. We've had a good few days, weeks where we've had a nice temperature. But the nights are starting to get colder. We're starting to see dew on the grass. It's autumn, well and truly here. So I thought I had to maybe just move one step ahead. And well, these things, even if I, whatever I do with my pond, this will always come in use and it's, a, it's like an on and off one so it's not an inverter type it, it'll find this uh, temperature and when it's found the temperature it'll turn off and then it'll start on again the way I'm going to do it is I've got all my goodies here oh meter um, box there don't worry about that that'll be explained in another video um, so what my thoughts are is I've got a 10,000 very flow, yeah. I'm gonna put that in the pond, inch and a half pipe, up to the neck uh, tempest, not the nexus, because my nexus is a uh, pump fed. So I'm having like trouble and trying to find a way where I can do it all. So I wanna, because what I've read and what I've been told is you can't put dirty water through the, the heater. It has to be like filtered, it has to be cleaner, really. So I'm gonna put a pump in the pond and but that to the Tempest. Tempest is, it's all one and a half inch pipe. So I'm gonna have to switch it up from the inch and a half to two inch. So I'm gonna go two inch into the Remora air source heat pump. And then out of that two inch, I'm gonna use a two inch flexi, which I've managed to get hold of. And that's a solid flexi. It's not the normal ribbed one. That's right, it's solid. I'm just trying to work out where I'm going to connect that to the pressure pipe and I don't have a problem. These are all my little bits and bobs that I've collected that I need. So I'm going to plan is we're going to get the tempest on that uh, fence post because it's concrete so I think it'll hold, the, it'll hold the weight. And then we're going to go pump into the pond, out, in, up there, then that'll come down. That's the inlet. I've already got that converted onto an inch and a half hose tail. As we're going out, the pipe will go back into the pond. So I'm trying to, I think, I, think I, want, I want the pipe to go down. So at the bottom of the pond. So just so that the heat will travel a bit better. But it does look nice. I like the black. And for what, for what I paid, this, I ain't going to get nothing better than that. Literally. Big shout out to my man Dave for the hookup. So let's get cracking. All right, let's take a before and then we'll see what happens after. No magic fingers. I'm gonna bring you lot along all the way. The so step one, well, step one was cleaning the workspace. Go well, where I've had to put salt like around the edges and whatnot because I'm getting a, a slug infestation. So the slugs meet the salt and then they slowly Dissolve, not dissolve, they pass away. So these are the um, Tempest brackets made as I think, stainless steel. We get them from, um, well, I got them from Wayside Water Garden, .co something com. That's not a plug, but I just found them, so I got them from there. I'm going to put them on the post so I will have to drill more holes. Yeah, so that's step one get the brackets drilled. It looks like it's going to be a long day and i've got that's the inch and a half pipe such a little job look how much stuff there is literally there is so much stuff here and it all has to hopefully pieces of the puzzle have to go together and we will have heating by the evening yes let's get on to drilling this just a word of advice to anyone using in tempest do not use a small piece of inch and a half pressure pipe as a funnel to get your media back in 
because the stupidity takes over and the pipe falls in. And you have to spend the last 20 minutes playing with this tempest. Oh shit, have we got it out? 20 minutes I've been trying to do this, trying to get it out. And it was like those machines that you get in those uh, arcades where you have to get the claw and it goes to the teddy bear. And finally, I picked up the camera and that's taken me 20, 25 minutes. Wow. Yeah, stupidity took over. But let's try and get this out now. A few moments later. So it didn't come out, so I've had to get a cane and try and take it out. This is this is the claw moment. Let's visualize. Come on, come on, yes. Get out of there. So I've used my initiative again, I've made a funnel out of a juice bottle. Let's get the media loaded in. That literally is such a waste of time. Wasted 30 minutes taking that bloody thing out. Let's get this media loaded and let's get this filled up. So we've got step two done. I've got the brackets on. I've had the drill was on hammer. Cracked a bit of the gate post, fence post, siliconed it up, just letting it all dry. So the tempest slides right in. We're moving on to the this side. Plumb that all up for two inch pipe on the outlet. Just trying to get all the measurements correct. I'm using um, the flexi easy connectors, the rubber boots, just because. It's easier. I can't be asked to solve well at the moment, and it's easier for me to get everything off if and when future plans happen. Yep. Let's see. That's so useful. Cordless angle grinder to cut all the pipes. Let me just get all these measurements. Start cutting it up. Daylight is starting to go. Have to close. We've lost light. Got the big light out. Had a change of plan. The air source heat pump now is at an angle. The tempest will connect down there and that will run from the top down to here. Yeah. That two inch pipe will connect to that two inch pipe there and a straight run. That pipe goes under the waterfall, goes out and goes into the pond. It's the second pipe there, not the first one, that second one. That one. Not that one. That one and so i think it's just maybe because i don't want all that pipe running there and then there that's the one thing that i hate about pump fed is there's so many pipes and everything is visible unless you do all because mine's is in ground i can't do all these tank connectors and everything so let's see but main thing is i've got it hardwired i've got it connected electricity just has to connect onto the fit the house side on a rcd plug Need to just letting this set and then that should be rock solid that'll hold the tempest tempest down to there outlet down to there it's straight into the pond yeah. and i will i'll do that lagging or whatever you call it if i can just find the right one first 9 30. i've got the heat pump connected just covered i don't want to get the get it wet yeah even though it's you connected all the pipes that's going down there, there, look, that's going there. That's going there. Yeah. Wired it all up. So that's the pump I'll be using. It's a, a very flow 10,000 point expert. I got this from a um, Kevin Koi enthusiast. Cheers, Kevin. He had it lying around and um, I saw some, where did I see it? Facebook, I think it was, that he had it on sale. I snapped it up, bargain. We got the job done, because I just need to pass about um, 4,000 liters, 3,500 liters through the Tempest, through the Tempest, and then into the, what do you call it, the heater. It's got to about 10, 10 p.m. now. I'm pushing it on time. I'm just gonna see if I can get this connected, and get it all plugged in, see if it all works. So I know tomorrow I'm at work, 
It's raining again, so I need to just try and get as much done as I can today. And I've got like 30 minutes just to get it all done. The clock is ticking. This is the morning after. I've got the, the pump connected into there. That goes straight again under the waterfall, down, around, and out here. That will connect up to the Tempest, Tempest out into the heater, heater back out into there. What irritates me so much is that amount of pipe work that's there on display, it kind of it looks so horrible, so tacky. I don't know how I'm gonna solve this and to find a solution to get these old pipes covered somehow. I need to sort something out, because it doesn't look nice right there. One of the disadvantages of being pump fed is that your pipes are always on display. Like, you just can't hide them. Like, I don't know, unless I can probably get another four inch pipe, but I have to disconnect everything and slot them through that. Let me just try and cover them somehow, just to make it look more pretty. So, we have lift off. Thankfully, no leaks. Apart from that, was the waste valve was open. I just put some bricks in there just to give it a support while everything is. Um, setting tempest is running all right no leaks there the brackets i think are very useful all right yeah yeah on cue 21 degrees first spin of the fan and well we call it live okay so that's 21 degrees i still have to work out how to a little bit of reading of the manual for today heat is running fan spinning tempest is on collecting fines there's no leaks there's one little leak down there i've tightened that and probably have to retighten it again i've got the bricks there just giving a bit of sport while all that it holds up in place silicon's still drying there all the pipe work everything's all right that's the that's evo feed the evolution echo one i won that from um lee hadfield not one of I donated a bit of money to charity and he gave it to me. It's an alright, it's an alright, um, it's an alright feeder. But I, I'm not 100% satisfied with it. One, because I think the shoot is wrong for my kind of setup for where I've got that stupid step there. The food collects there and I've seen the fish to try and get on to this step to collect the remaining food. And then they struggle to get off. I've seen that a few times. I might buy another one and maybe like pass this on to someone else. But the money at the moment, I don't know if I want to buy a feeder in that way because but they're, they're a couple hundred pound. So I'm still wary of buying that at the moment. Rather, I might want to buy something else instead. It's doing a all right job for now. I'm feeding a um, uh, copper mix from, uh, I've got this from uh, Danny, Danny's Koi Pond. Shout out to Danny. It's all right, the fish seem to like it. I was on a Saki Hikari balance and then I went on the high growth but I've just ran out of everything so I've got five kilos of this and when this finishes then I think I'll have to maybe get back on Saki Hikari because now the pond's heated so I can feed I think during the whole year I can continuously feed balance or growth or whatever um, but then I think um, I have to find out a way which I'm going to give them a winter so I'm not just going to heat it during the whole year so i think i have to give them like a month where they have to have that winter just because it's the natural way i'm not looking for like no show show kind of fish or growth well i'm just i'm just a hobbyist don't you think of those kind of levels and fish i think 
they need to be as close to their natural state as possible even though that's a closed environment but let's see also just want to say thank you to all the subscribers we got past the 300 mark so that was a good step thank you thank you guys for everyone for subscribing thanks for all the views the likes the shares everything this channel is nothing without you the peoples because it's the people's pond and always um, if you do want me to do like a pond visit you want to showcase your koi your pond you can drop me an email i can come and see you if you want me to you can drop me a picture a video if you like I don't mention names or locations or whatever, so your privacy is protected. Uh, the email is thepeoplespond at gmail.co.uk. I think it's .co.uk. I'll have to double check that and I'll put it in the description box. Um, all the people who do watch the videos, please do subscribe to the channel. We need to get the channel bigger. We need to get it to over 500 and hopefully well, I was thinking because my videos are more, I'm front face, I'm behind the camera. So if we get to 500, I'm probably going to unveil this pretty face of mine. So let's get to 500 subscribers, guys. Hit that like button, hit the share button, hit the bell icon to get the notifications. And as always, the people's pond over and out.